People would come on to send me like, you guys need to get the hell together. From the most extreme COVID protocols in Hollywood to being monitored by Netflix police, bringing Red Notice to life was a major feat. A $200 million one, no less. Looking for something specific or just browsing? The chase scenes in Red Notice are made that much better by the slick take on used to zip around. And that car was the real deal. In fact, two of these Porsches were purchased just for filming. The cars were top notch performers, but proved to be troublesome when it came time for The Rock to slickly hop into the vehicle. Just as Johnson was preparing to enter the car, it very quickly dawned on him that there was no way his buff body could fit gracefully. I can't get in this car. <laughs> and he says, you're kidding me. And I went, I'm not, dude. Obviously, this was extremely inconvenient, and the director was far from pleased. But where there's a will, there's a way. The solution was slicking DJ up in oil so he could slip into the car, and once he was in, they were off. While maneuvering his way into the car doesn't make the cut, that's one scene we definitely want to see. When you see the movie, you'll see the scene starts with like my hand on the shift and then driving away. The question isn't where was there improv, but where wasn't there? Every single scene was filled with improvisation since director Ross and Marshall Thurber left the actors a lot of freedom to play within the film. No, Ryan loves to improv, and I love that. The open and improvised filled set wasn't just fun for the performers. It was a significant contributor to making the film so great. With lots of great improv comes a ton of corpsing. You know, we just get the gigs. Yeah. We just start giggling on set, and then we're wasting everyone's money and time. Being on set wound up becoming a kind of a challenge since... Most of the time, we were just trying to crack each other up. They tried, and they succeeded. The hardest part of filming for Gatto was trying not to crack up in the middle of scenes, and we definitely can't blame her. One joke in particular that came from the mind of Reynolds caught The Rock totally off guard. You'll know the reference when you see it. Luckily, DJ took it well and included the fun moment in the movie for the audience's enjoyment. While it seems like it was all fun and games making this movie, well, let's just say things got a bit serious for a hot second. They actually had to police us a little. While everyone loves a fun set, Netflix were getting a bit worried that the filming schedule was going to fall behind and they'd end up needing to spend more money. So they sent people to literally monitor the sets and make sure the team stayed on track. After witnessing the magic of the big tango number between Gal Gadot and The Rock, it's no surprise this was a favorite for both of them to film. The one scene Oh, it's hard to choose, it's hard to choose. Can the I pressure, tell you mine? Can I tell you the mine? dancing scene. While it was a huge challenge to do, it was a very positive experience that saw the two performers come together and really support each other, bringing all the performance and definitely passion. Don't worry, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. It was. While Godot dove into dancing with The Rock, it wasn't without hesitation. The actress insisted the two rehearse as much as possible. One reason, of course, being to make it the best possible, but the other was because she was terrified DJ would step on her toes and crush them. You're a big guy, and <laughs> my toes are sensitive. Much to her and our very delightful surprise, Johnson is an incredibly graceful dancer that anybody would be lucky to partner with. There's no shortage of amazing stunts in Red Notice. The whole team rehearsed the intense sequences thoroughly, and in performance, Ryan Reynolds actually did most of his own stunts. His two stunt doubles were there to step in when needed, but what we see on screen for the most part is all Reynolds' stunt magic. I loved shooting a, a chase scene that I had with Dwayne. One of the most intense stunts for Reynolds came working on the big chase scene between himself and Dwayne Johnson. Working on four-story scaffolding shook the actor and left him totally terrified while filming for about the four or five days they spent on the sequence. The action is unreal, and while he was shaking in his stunt boots on set, looking back on it, Reynolds acknowledged how cool and exhilarating it was. Inspector Urvashi takes to the screen as confident and strong as can be, and while Ritu Arya portrays her brilliantly, it didn't come naturally. Arya did some impressive and creative prep work. Working out, trying rock climbing, going to a gun range… anything the actress could think of that intimidated her. The inspector, of course, would have no reservations, so Arya made sure she was comfortable enough in facing daunting experiences to make sure the confidence vibes came through on screen with truth. 
You know, look, in a movie like this, you gotta have a sense of humor. Absolutely. Give it to the audience. For all those keen eyes out there, be sure to watch right before any shots come away, because in many instances, the actors burst out laughing soon after because of a blooper. Team, 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 it feels weird in my mouth. But those bloopers were too good for the team to ignore. Approximately 50% of the movie includes tripped up moments that happen to work in the final cut perfectly. At least the actors held it together enough so these blooper gems could be edited in. Arrest me. Halfway through the film, we see Gatto, DJ, and Reynolds duking it out in their first three way battle. It's one of our favorites to watch and was one of director Ross and Marshall Thurber's favorite scenes to shoot. Getting the chance to work on such an epic sequence with three stars resulted in magic. This was essentially a chance for Thurber to just enjoy and revel in the brilliant talent of such skilled performers. It's kind of impossible to ignore how unbelievable it is to have a heist movie with these three stars at the center. The real life relationships definitely contributed to the fun dynamics on screen. We're like an old couple. With big stars come big paychecks, worth over $20 million. $20 million for each of the actors, that is. No wonder the film budget was $200 million. We're not surprised that each of the leads were actually Thurber's first choices. Before he'd even finished the script, the idea was pitched to The Rock, who, no surprise, loved it and said yes immediately. In Thurber's mind, no one could play Gatto's part except the actress herself, so he casually flew to London to pitch her on it. She agreed to sign on. Reynolds was the final piece of the puzzle, and the only one who was actually sent the script to read. We imagine the actor could see himself doing the part upon reading, especially since the role of the world's greatest con man was written with Reynolds in mind. He joined the project the morning after reading. This movie has really been a long time coming. Just over half was filmed before the pandemic hit. They began in January 2020 and faced some delays on their international travel plans when borders started closing up and soon after, the team decided to pause production for two weeks. That eventually turned into a much longer break, but the team came back together in September 2020 to finish what they'd started. We came back to shoot as uh, at right in the middle of the pandemic. Filming finished in the place where they were first interrupted, Italy. The team said that's a wrap and ciao on November 18th, 2020. Unfortunately, during the break in production, The Rock and his entire family had come down with COVID-19. After experiencing the pandemic very close to home, The Rock himself insisted the team go above and beyond to protect the production team, and Red Notice implied the most aggressive COVID measures in Hollywood. As, as we've all had to deal with the pandemic, I, and I know I could speak for Gal on this, we're really so proud of our crew. The cast and crew became very well versed in testing and nose swabs, zones and bubbles. In fact, 800 cast and crew members collectively underwent a whopping 2,000 tests per week. All these guidelines could be found in one of the many hundreds of pages long manuals on the set. All that work paid off since there wasn't a single outbreak in the entire production. Netflix definitely made a smart investment in this unbelievable team who made a fun and action-packed movie, all while laughing and joking together on set, even if they were on occasion being policed. 